Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. to talk about before we leave. That this right, right there. there. Yeah. I want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Let's play it. This is totally a different subject, but I want to talk about this. Can we open that up a little bit? So he, he's, a, he's, a, he's an economist, a European economist that deals with finances all over the world. And he's in a conference and he was recorded in some with some inside scoop things that the bishop has already brought out about the continent of Africa and how Europe deals. But he's pretty much saying it. Okay. Prosperity of the advanced countries. OK, and Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. That's we it. will not allow sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Stop it. Stop okay, it. We do. That, those first few seconds is important. Yeah, it's important. Go back to the beginning it's again. Exactly I can hear it. Okay, I can't okay, hear it. Okay, okay, it doesn't sound this? clear. Something. Like, something. Come on, like, come on, bro. We, we can hear you. you. We're hearing you. Okay, <laughs> let's, try, let's try it again. Sub-Saharan Africa has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries, okay? And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. Mm. Okay, we do everything to keep Sub-Saharan Africa where it is, also impoverished. It's Damn. absolutely vital for the prosperity of everyone else. So let's get clear about that, okay? And this means, all the economic structures, all the global institutions, and the economics we teach everyone is all designed to keep Africa exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. And whether it is Europe or US or now China, it's always the same. Yep. We need Africa to be impoverished because we need those raw materials and we need them dirt cheap. Okay, so wow. that's the message. Stop, 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 stop. Mm -hmm. I got something to say on that immediately. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If, if they're dealing with, because a lot of times Negro in America is, uh, he, he's, he's just absolved. He mm -hmm. just act like he's absolved to what he just saw on the screen. Mm -hmm. 
if they're that way about Africa, what the hell do you think they think about us mm-hmm. right. in this country? They must mm-hmm. keep us impoverished. They have to. They, mm-hmm. You you thinking it's just talking about that? They look at us the same way, men and women. We must keep them on the bottom. We must vilify them, criminalize them, mm-hmm. demify them, all of it. Yes. Because the one and only objective is to exploit them mm-hmm. for our gain. Right. Period. It's for them to stay on top. Right. For them to stay on it's top. good for the economy. Yesterday at class, one of your cities, I don't remember if it was Bishop or Dickens, one of your said, that's why you see these politicians, when, when anybody talking about... Uh, the seven acres and the mule. Oh, the 40 acres and the mule. The 40 acres and the mule. And reparations. About reparation. That is why they're always against it. The reason, I think one of you said, the reason they're always against it, their fear is one of them might wake up. One of them might wake up and say, wait a minute. If they give us reparation for this, we got to get paid for this, mm-hmm. for that, for this, mm-hmm. for that. Bishop said it. Bishop said that, right? Mm-hmm. So that is why they always going to be against it no yep. matter what. Yep. Because they have, that's the fear. Right now, <laughs> the biggest fear is the Israelite. Because right. what we're pushing, the mindset is, listen, we don't want them to wake up. We don't want them to find out exactly where they belong. We don't want them to find out exactly who they are. Because if they find out who they are, we're done. Mm-hmm. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. He said, listen, we want those war materials. We have to keep them in poverty. Right. When we went it's, to Africa, we were there. Mm-hmm. They, when we checked to go to the schools, their mm-hmm. school books is very minimal yeah. and it's old, like yeah. from 1970. Yes. European yes. curriculum. Yeah, British curriculum. They, right. they do that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the teachers say, can y'all bring us books? We don't... That, and that's what this Edomite is that's saying. They keep saying. them impoverished yeah. for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like you always say, like here in America, mm-hmm. we are listed as the ninth... How does it go? Well, ninth wealthiest, wealthiest, wealthiest nation on the planet. But mm-hmm. it's not in context of us doing for self. No. no. It's to spend it's and support your right. 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 That's what it is. Yeah. Right. They do we, keep us we, like that. We are the basically Africa resources. Yes. That's what they say. This we are the resources. Remember when Bill Cosby and Byron Allen, which right. is the most recent, wanted to buy networks. Mm-hmm. And they had court laws that right. forbid them exactly. from buying. Yep. Like Comcast and Byron yes. Allen. Yes, exactly. And they did that on purpose. Yeah, they did that on purpose. To keep us impoverished. So, so what that man said against Africa, so-called Negroes over here don't mm-hmm. need to feel like they are absolved from that. He's yep, speaking right. about you directly to your yep, face. Right. I read an article not too long ago, and it's essentially saying the same thing, that the whole capital, the capitalistic system that we run in now is it was it's made to as closely mimic slavery as they, as they could mm-hmm. to keep the workforce that they needed yes. in play. Mm-hmm. So rather than saying, okay, we, we didn't let them free, we we built a system where the entire world now can get this same labor. So it's like, we have to be able to get as much work out of these people for as little money as possible. There's, Hence, you start, when you said we right. need There's work. an article out, I, I pulled it out on our program the other day, that America is actually more richer after the yeah, abolishment uh, of it, slavery it then. Richer. And they said that you have more people in prison and as, as laborers than you had slaves in the 1800s. Mm. My cousin they, was they, in they, they actually have more, you have more slaves, basically. The 13th more Amendment gave them more slaves. Right. Right. So, and, okay. and, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in slavery, the slave, the so-called slave master, had to pay for the house. I mean, the the the, 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 uh, right. the, the, the health care, the food, shelter. clothing, I'll all of that. that. Now we we get we get our jobs. We work overtime to try right, to compensate right, to right, keep right. our head above water. We don't. The boss man, the, the the slave master, would have to drive us to the plantation. Now you take the subway and pay for it. So you pay to be you, a slave. You pay to, you pay to be a slave now. Dang. And they making the money off the subway system. Off the businesses, the laws were set up where we can't get our own businesses. Right. All of those things was designed to keep, just like what that man said. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the reluctance in us getting businesses and all of that stuff is to keep us on the bottom. Right. So, yeah, so yeah, the you know this, yeah, you know this, even though within the system they're created, 
They could not tell every white boy, let me give you a million dollars. You know what they do? They say, son, go to school. We already have your job set up for you. Right, mm -hmm. right. Because if you're going to give every white boy, you say, oh, what about us? They're not doing it like that. Mm -hmm. It's a system that well think. Very it's thinker behind it. The internships and stuff like that. That we they, oh, I'm going to get an internship. Yes. When they get an intern, they become... That that's their job. You yeah. get an intern, and they send you back to school with a yeah. with a credit. Like, oh, yo, I got an intern credit, but you right. didn't get the, the job. job that. Hey, um, I am. Okay, um, to land back on what Deacon was saying is, um, I remember I was speaking to my grandmother. She was a slave, mm. and she said that she was about seven years old. And they said, "We're free, we're free." They said, "Yay!" And went right back to work. The next mm. morning they got up, they went right back to work. On and the plantation. We've never the been deprogrammed from that. Also, just what Deacon was saying is that now the way they have the system, the system works better for them than mm -hmm. us to be mentally being slaves because they don't pay for anything. Exactly. Back then, if your slave was sick, they had to call a doctor to come. That's the point. And that and was money out of their pocket. Exactly. Now we pay for every exactly. single thing. And if you don't go to work, guess what? They don't pay you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now they are well financially. Um, laced and we're still on the bottom that's we don't an, even realize that that's an example of let us deal wisely with right, them right, yes. right, right, right. and um, y'all can see that on um, YouTube it's called the Jones Plantation if I remember right it's, okay. a, it's a cartoon oh. skit yeah. and it shows oh, yeah. how the people were how the people were on the, on the plantation and knew they were slaves they were always angry they were not willing to work and then they changed the system they came and brought a new guy changed the system hey we're gonna make everybody's free but you're only free here on this plantation. If you go outside the plantation, we don't know. You could get taken by another plantation owner. You're going to get put back. Which was a lie. The, the mere right, fact right. that they call us free was an illusion. Yeah. Yes. So because yes. it made you feel like you wasn't a yes. slave anymore. But it was actually worse. Right. Because the, you got the illusion of freedom. Right. Now you're free to pay your own bills. Yeah, and that, that's because I got to pay for no own money. The, 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 the slaves was worse off because right. Right. now that you're living in the quarters, they was like, okay, right. we need some money every month. Right. But you ain't paid me. Exactly. And they had to pay. They had to come up or that's where the share properties yep. come from. Right. Like, it just, they, the way they did it, it's just hey, and this, made this us worse. This economist that we're watching, those are the devils that are that they're having these councils with mm -hmm. to set up the whole system, mm -hmm. basically. That's what they do. They set up these councils and they move the agenda that way. You know, they set the system up that way. It's, it's basically ironclad. You, oh, there's no, nothing no, no. you can do to get around it. That's the reason why the most high is not our back. Yes, sir. Bishop, Bishop, I was going to, I was going to read uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. We read it yesterday in class. It says, Woe unto them that decree mm -hmm. unrighteous decrees and that right mm -hmm. grievousness which mm -hmm. they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Mm. The widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Mm. That's what we just saw with yes, the Khan said. He revealed that all European powers work as a collective. Yes. 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 Right. And yes. to keep Africa poor, to yes. keep black people right. poor, mm -hmm. that's their objective so that we can support their system. That's the reason why the educational system yep. is inferior. The economic system works against us. The legal system works against us. All of the systems work together in unison to keep us at that, at that exploited pot that they continue to suck our resources. Right. Going back to the eugenics tree you was talking about. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. when, That's you, the point. when you examine, I mean, I always like saying, I want to go back to the root of the tree. When you go back, you examine when Joseph, our forefather, was in Egypt. That's where that come from, by the way. Mm -hmm. Remember, the scripture described how the famine was all over the land, all over the world. The only place that had food was Egypt. Mm -hmm. So now, today, the scripture called America the spiritual of Egypt. So, it's the same thing. Now, in America, remember back in Egypt, what happened? Uh, for you to, the, it was coming a time where they were out of money, and now Joseph will start taking their land. Mm -hmm. Joseph was like, that's today you call that, uh, uh, the, that the cropper thing, what you call it? Sharecroppers. Sharecroppers. Eventually what Joseph did is Joseph said, okay, you can work the land, but they don't belong to Pharaoh. Right. It's the right. same thing. Mm -hmm. So now today in America again, now I, I know that time we read this, we don't, we don't think Egypt was a superpower, but there was other countries too who got power. So now Egypt was telling, Pharaoh was telling them, listen, we're going to feed you, but there's something you got to do for us. Mm -hmm. Same thing today. Same thing today. America got the biggest economy. America 
like what he was saying, and all these European countries you were just saying have to agree with what America said. Mm-hmm. They say, America said, listen, we got to, they all come together, all East of right. my countries come together and say, we got to keep the black countries and mm-hmm. Belarus. That's the only way we're going to survive. That's what, that's what he's saying. Right. So guess what? They all still follow, there's a main one, which is America. Mm-hmm. They all in agreement. When they have those meetings, there's no black people in there who say, hey, I don't think it's a good. No, they all Esau, they have to be in agreement. Yeah, Same that's, thing the reason, in Egypt. that's the reason why the scriptures say that the people going to regret, the nation's going to regret when they see the smoke of her mm, burning. That's yes. what they're going to say. Yes. Alas, alas. Yes. That, um, right, right. What does it say? They shall lament and wail for her mm-hmm. because they're, they're, what we just saw is going to be disrupted. Right. Yeah, I mean, then you notice that even though within the system, what it does, that uh, they will go to different countries, right? And they will set up and say, this is what your money worth. How the hell I may go, you're going to tell me how much my gold worth. Right, yeah, There's right. some wicked things going yeah, on, man. Totally wicked people these people are. But guess what? They create a system for us. So when we come out of school, we're thinking that yeah, we're going to get a decent job. $50,000 is not no money a year. Right. $60,000 no, right, not right, no money. Right, right, right. When they get to them... They're like 150 a year, 200 a year, Starting 200 out. a year. You understand? So now they tell us, oh, 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 we give you a little coin. You should be happy with it. That's a, that's a my game. You White people is the demonic people on earth, man. I'm telling you straight up. The way they set the whole thing is no good. And we have no idea. When you talk about money and wealth, we have no idea the type of money agents throw away. I remember when um, I was working for the the company, we used to build private jets. Mr. Dillard came in there for his wife's birthday and dropped $70 million for a jet for her birthday. That was her present. Wow. I mean, it was chic. It, it was crazy. And we like, Ugh. you know, and that was the down payment. That was not, and that was not the price of the jet. That was the down payment. Mm-hmm. That, that's crazy. I've seen, and, I've, and we thinking that because you make $100,000 a year, that's something. That's nothing. That's it's nothing. nothing. Right. And they stole all of that from us. Yes. <laughs> you, know, I've, I've, you know what to... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I've, I've seen that kind of thing in the places where I worked at. The, 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 the wife of the president of the spot, she, he bought her a brand new, one of those high Mercedes Benz coupes. Mm-hmm. She got a flat tire. He replaced the car with that Audi, with the one with the, you can see the engine in the <laughs> really? side. Really? You got that tire. You the you, you, you didn't change the tire. You changed the tire. He changed his car perspective. What that, 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 that R8, that one with the, the yeah. coupe? Yeah, yeah. What's the one? We can't even think that. No, we like don't that. even think that. The guy who uh, made uh, Apple, what's the? Uh, Jobs. Steve, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. I was watching one of those little documentaries on him, and they were, it was like, fun facts you didn't know about Steve Jobs. Like his cars never had license plates because he would only keep the car until the registration was up. <laughs> wow. So you know what the initial tag that you right. get, like you got 30 days to yeah, get this yeah, tag. Yeah. By the time that tag is Damn, up, he, got he, got it. he just wow. Like, so he never paid a registration. He never paid a registration for a car. So he just and, buy- and they say in the kingdom, that's that's gonna be trash. Yeah. So yeah. I'm you keep know, these let's, laws. Let's, let's, let's play a little bit more of the video. Right. There. Let's play a little bit more. Alicia, let's go. What's wrong with Alicia, man? Mm-hmm. What the hell? The long way. You done left the building. Where you at? Mm-hmm. Can't hear it. Of course there is. Okay, but this is the opposition that they're fighting. This is what it's about. Because if Africa does do something different, I assure you living standards of all those in Europe and North America and Asia is going to fall. So stop, okay. stop. So this, I know Bishop has brought this out, when they kill the leaders in Africa, and kill the leaders, our leaders here too. It says, if they start to do for themselves, all the European countries are going to suffer. Mm, mm. So they have to start coups in these right, countries. Right, yeah. They have to kill the leaders. Why? Because, that's, because that leader is starting to gather the people yeah. to start doing for themselves. Gaddafi was going to start changing the currency, things of that nature. Thomas and Carl as well. Right. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Right. Right. So he just said, we cannot let this happen because if they start to do for themselves... Europe is going to turn into a third world country. Right. Wow. They got a number of potatoes. So basically, 
a capitalist economy is, is just another name for slavery. Slavery, yeah. or, 100%. Or colonial, colonial, slavery by another name. Colonialism. Right. Colonialism, <laughs> right. Uh, like, why does the British pound outweigh the American dollar? No when idea. they, they export nothing. Mm. But because they, regardless of what they say that we fought against them, they still that nation mm. that's above everybody. Rainy ass Britain. And the same thing um, with, I think, the guy that you just named. Thomas and Carl. He's the one that was telling, kicking everybody out mm-hmm. and saying, "Why we, why are we paying y'all yes. millions of dollars and all yeah. y'all doing right. is raping right. us?" Exactly. You know, now, I'm, I'm waiting on him to die any day mm-hmm. now. Like now it makes <laughs> now it makes sense when what country was it again when they when they poured the the, the that was the concrete um, into the sewer. That was Sierra Leone. The French, the French did. No, it wasn't Sierra Leone. Concrete in the sewer system. Guinea. No, it wasn't Guinea. 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 I think it was Guinea. It was yes. Guinea. I think it was. Guinea. So when Guinea kicked out, uh, I think I think it was the French. It was the French. They destroyed all their schools, the destroyed system. their hospitals, poured cement into their sewer system. So it, it crippled the country. Right. So it so it just goes to show the lev- the, the length they'll go in order to keep that country impoverished. Right. It says, listen, we'll turn your country into rubble before we let you do for yourself. Yeah. Right. This is what remember when they put out the movie Black Panther, they kept stressing. This is a fictional mm, movie, right. but they never use that for Superman or Batman. Right. No, yeah. mm. right. Oh, that's what and, and, you know, remember, they did that with us first. Remember with Black Wall Street. Mm. Right. Remember, yeah. they destroyed Black Wall Street because they say, oh, if we let this go, right. Right. there's right. going to be right. other Black Wall Street right. all over the country. So right. they say, eventually what? They're not going to depend on us no more. Right. They're going to go separate. So that's why they say, listen, we got it. I said, the government, the government was behind coming the bomb. They yes, were. Yes, they yes. were. That was behind that. They acted like they didn't have nothing. Yes, that was behind that. They said the National Guard was there. Surround, like, right. the National Guard was wanted to protect. Yeah. That was yeah. it. There was the there. army's there. Like. There's two movies that show clips of uh, mm-hmm. Black Wall Street. You got Watchmen, which yeah. is on, is it? HBO. Amazon, mm-hmm. HBO, Watchmen, they show Black Wall Street getting bombed and destroyed, and Lovecraft. Love 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 this yeah. is more the gay stuff. They always throw that stuff in there. Right. But watch what they did to our people who were financially successful, prosperous, and unified. Mm-hmm. They destroyed us. That's so, not, that scene just makes you cry. Yes. Because we, when she, when they came, went back in time, um, sorry, <laughs> whoever they don't watch it, I haven't watched this particular episode, my, my bad. Mm. When when they went back in time and he was just walking and just looking, it was amazing to see just a whole town with nothing but black folks. Right. We was the owners, we was the doctors, we was right. everything. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of that scene when he was reciting, I don't I don't know if y'all know that, that yes. was actually that was history yes, exactly. that he was reciting. He was saying it was the smartest surgeon in the world and they mm-hmm. shot him and they did. Right. All of that is actual history. That that whole that whole um, series was written by a racist Edomite. Wow. The, wow. the books, if really? you read the books, it's nothing like that. The black people are always the 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 um, butt of the joke mm-hmm. on, in his books. Wow. So the person that took this bought the rights, mm-hmm. and now he made it a movie. And that guy probably flipping in his grave because <laughs> the main characters are the people that he hated and was trying to mm-hmm. be the butt of the joke. Wow. And now they're the wow. heroes in there. Wow. So. Like, That's can, I, tell you. Right. can I read something real quick? Anybody, you had something? Before? Can I get, uh, let's get Revelation 12 and 17. I'm going to hit a couple of scriptures before I it look like the time is about to run out. Because one of the things that I noticed from time to time, I look at the, um, at the comments and a lot of people are very, cause when they hear this, what, what might seem to be depressing news and hear the reality, they're like, damn. We're in it. So what let's band together. Let's get weapons. Let's get the I hear these kinds of stuff all on the on the because they feel powerless. Right. But the most high set up this whole scene. Let's Revel- read that thing. Revelation chapter twelve and verse seventeen. Yes, sir. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And the dragon, the, the Edomites, the so called white man. Okay. He's the great red dragon. He was angry with the Israelites, the woman, like it says in, in the uh, twelfth chapter at the beginning. The twelve the twelve stars on this woman. This is the Israelites. Read. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Go ahead. Which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. War, war has begun. SPLC and the rest of the people right. trying to shut this gospel down so that our people don't wake up. Because the Most High is waiting on a certain remnant of to be sealed. Once that, once that number is sealed, the Most High is going to step in and just destroy this man. Okay, so they're trying to prevent that. So that's where our hope is at. Now, I hope ain't enough grabbing some guns and all that foolishness. Our hope is, is fulfilling what we're reading here because this That's is right. what's going to work. That's right. Read it again. Verse 17. I mean, which keep the commandments? 
which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's that's what they're afraid of. Now give me the 11th <laughs> chapter, verse 11. Revelations chapter 11 and verse 11. This is what's going to bring on us keeping the commandments of the Most High. Go ahead. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. It's entered into the Israelites. The Most High is going to wake up these men. And, and they're in the prison houses. They're doing all kinds of craziness, but the Most High got that remnant. And that's what he's waiting for. Once he wake that remnant up, it's over. Read. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. That's what we saw on the screen. They said we cannot allow our our uh, team to let the Israelites off. Mm. To let uh, to because if they wake up, we're gonna lose out. Right. And and what it says when we was reading earlier, it said that keep the commandments of God. All of the exp the resources that we constantly just give away in foolishness, we're gonna keep that money in our pockets. Mm -hmm. That's going to slow things down big time. They, they said, we can't have that. But, and then, so when they come to attack us, the most I say, I got your back here. That's what we read in, in the 11. Read 11 and 12. Verse 11 again. Yeah. And, the, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. Go ahead. And they stood upon their feet, a, and great fear fell upon them and which great, saw them. And great fear fell upon that remnant which saw them. So they're going to be terribly afraid because they know that the most high is getting ready to make super moves. And that's what's going to shut. It ain't going to get shut down no other way. Mm -hmm. The most high is going to shut it down. He said, only thing I need you to do is believe me. Right. Just, just obey my commandments and I got this. <laughs> and that's what they're fighting. They're fighting to make sure that we never get that remnant together. Mm -hmm. But the most high is going to bring it anyway, despite whatever they try to do. That's right. Yeah. You think you you think if they had their if they had their way you think that we would be even where we are now? No, because this has nothing to do with them. The Most High is bringing this thing. With. Hey, uh, did, did Bishop send you something? Yes, sir. Put it up because we almost out of time. Put it up. Mm -hmm. it's, it goes along with the video that Captain Shemai was just showing. Okay. Oh, look who show up. Oh, Joey. Joey just show up. <laughs> Shalom, Joey. Oh Lord, have mercy! You got it on the screen. Can y'all put it up? Read that. Mm -hmm. Without Africa, France will slide down into the rank of a third world power. French President Jacques Chirac. Right. Mm. So that goes with what, right. what you brought up. They know that. He so knows. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, yeah, there was a special. Yeah, yeah there was a special about France. They say French collect five hundred billion a yes. year, a year from, from Africa. Africa. Yeah. Now, hey, when you read, we Bishop I touched on this months ago. When you read about the Garden of Eden, all right, it tell you about where the precious metals such as gold and mm -hmm. so forth is. You know, and Africa is part. It's right. not the Garden of Eden, but it's part of the Garden of Eden. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and the Bible tell you certain part in Africa where the gold is and so forth and the riches and so forth. So Esau understand that. That's why that part, that's why in Africa they are over there colonizing and right. they, they, they design a system to keep the people and them there dependent on the European nations. Yes. Right. You understand? Right. So because why? They want to extract the, all the precious metal. You know what I mean? Because when Moses, when Moses was writing it, Moses said, Moses gave you the, he gave you, um, he like, listen, this part is a lot of gold and precious stones right here. The roadmap. You know? He gave us a roadmap. Yeah, he gave us a roadmap. I tried to, you know, <laughs> he gave us a roadmap. So he's so like, okay. And he saw went over there, he said, we're going to take advantage of this. You know what I mean? We, we want to become rich. We got to make sure we control this continent right here. You know? Yeah. Can I read one more scripture? Yeah, you got time. Okay. Uh, you Rome, got, you Rome, got about one minute. Yeah, R Romans 9.17. I wanted to drive this point home. Romans 9.17. Romans chapter 9 and verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Even as he raised up Esau. And all of, all that what we were just looking at on the screen, he raised them up. And, and most people are looking at it like, how in the world are we going to get out of this grip? People are looking at it and saying, this is insurmountable. We can't overthrow this at all. And that's designed for you to think that way. But God got the answer here. Yes, Read it again. For the scriptures, excuse me, for the scriptures saith unto Pharaoh. Just like he did King Pharaoh. 
Even for the same purpose. Even for the same purpose as he raised up King Pharaoh, he's doing this Edomite white man today. Go ahead. Have I raised thee up? I raised you up and gave you all of this power for everybody to fear you like you was a god. I did that. Go ahead. That I might show my power in thee. What is the reason that I did that? Because that, I'm going to show my power by smashing you in front of the Israelites, smashing you before everybody. And once I do that, what's going to happen? And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So what does the Lord say? He wants us to return to him. That's what he said. He said, I'm going to take out all other aspects of your salvation. You've got to turn to me because if you don't do that, this man is going to destroy you. You must return to me. And that's the only way I'm going to kill your enemies. Right, right, right. That's right. Then that thing is heavy, man. How he said, I'm going to show my power in yeah. you. You see these technologies, the Lord mm -hmm. gives you to do. Do your thing. Do your thing right here. Do your thing. Then he's thinking in his mind, is his intelligent who created. No, white man, God give you all these things. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you got what? You got you got the last word? No, sir. Can I say something? Because uh, you asked me this certain question like every other week, and we supposed to do something on here, and we never get a chance. Oh yes, yeah. go ahead. Okay. So where do I look at you? Oh, where do you look? Oh, right there. Yeah. So um, the audience of PSR, um, my producer, <laughs> Deacon um, Malachi is. Malachi. 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 Hey, hey, right no, there. hey, sis, sis, sis. I'm, I, I know sis, your name. Listen. I know your name. I apologize. Sis, I'm, I apologize. Hey, sis, listen. I'm the, I'm, I'm the original real Malachi. Okay. That's the duplex. Okay. Right? <laughs> that, that's why it's so Deacon Malachi and Deacon Malachi. Okay. 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 So, so back to the, um, we need suggestions um, sent then to IUIC. What is it? What's the website for, um, for Atlanta? The Facebook. The, IUIC Atlanta. Um, for a sister's show, um, it's going to be, it's not for the repentant. Y'all can watch it, though. It's for, to bring in the unrepentant, it's going to be, we're going to be discussing popular topics, but from a repenting Israelite view, and we need a... Uh, Oh God. Let me a show on. name. Let me okay, yeah, I'm, hey, I'm all... Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Israel, uh, we need, we're going to have a sister show. Uh, it's going to be five sisters. They're going to talk about topic that related to sisters that's in the world. They're not going to cover the sisters that are will repent. The target is sisters that's in the world. They're going to talk about a lot of hot topic, good topic. They're going to invite uh, sisters to come and talk about certain topics. Uh, what Sister Ayana is saying, they don't have a name yet for the show. So what I want, what we want you guys to do is send names you think the show can be called. Like I don't know how many of you see the views. Mm -hmm. There's a show called The View. So what they're going to do is they're going to talk about sister, uh, stuff that related to sisters, that everyday topics, everyday issue. That's what the show is going to be about. So send, send names. They don't pick up a name yet. They're supposed to pick up a name a month ago. So hey, they so didn't pick up no name yet. Hey, I got so, a name. I got a name. <laughs> hey, 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 sis, what do you think about this? The Israelite Views. Oh, no. 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 The Israelite view. View. Cue the music. Hey, sis, what hey, let me hear what you got. What is it? Okay, so I got two names. I was thinking one through the looking glass. I like that. Ooh, that sounds good. Or um through our eyes. I like it just black. came Nobody want to see to why to you ask. <laughs> I can't even see. Well, I ain't got nobody to call my own, so. No, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first one she said? What was the first one? Through the looking glass. Through the looking glass. Through the looking glass. I like that. Through the looking glass. I, well, I, it, I get it. I like that. Where's the one that gives the sisters a chance to come up with some other names? We got another okay. announcement. This is a. Uh, Another announcement, right? Uh, don't forget, okay. if you're interested in the mighty, the hammer. Yeah, stop playing. Oh, Fisadon King. Deacon Lava. Fisadon King. You can send your pictures just as good. It's just a thought, Bishop. You're five foot one? Five foot one? No, 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 five six. Oh, you're five six. I'm not even a Sisters, if you're interested. Five six, man. Five six. That's what the white men say. White men take measure, say. So, sister, if you're interested in Deacon Lava, remember he's going to pick a sister to prove around deep feats of dedication. Lord's willing. Uh, uh, Lord's willing. So you can send your information to the IUIC Atlanta Facebook page. 
inbox is there. We want a picture of you with makeup, without your height, your age, age, and how your long you've been in the truth. How long you've been in the truth? You gotta be a heavy sister. Right? Hey, and don't worry, no, hey I mean, sisters. Like in the scriptures. Hey oh. sisters, don't worry. The Kalaba is seventy percent off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout. Yo, he's on sale right now, you yes, know. Yes. He's, he's, no, 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 he's, no, 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 he's on sale. No, 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 he a giveaway. He a giveaway. No, he's a giveaway. You never see the stores in Brooklyn. They got the shoes outside calling dust. Wait a minute, he not on sale. No, no, he's a giveaway. No, 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 it's a giveaway, not not on sale. He a giveaway. There's a sales and bargain. I'm in the bed. Yeah, where he at? Red tag. Oh, yeah, I think he's he's gonna <laughs> hey, he got the red. He got the red. He got the red sticker on him. Yeah, he got the red sticker. Yep, the red sticker. I have one more thing to say. Not clearance. <laughs> my dress is by Pretty Um Modest Things. What? So y'all need to go on Pretty Modest. Little Bruh. What is it? What is it? Bruh. Pretty Modest. Bruh. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Yo, they got a yo. They can't be advertising with all with all. You know what I mean? They got free. Two got got free advertisers, man. I mean, Some, I'm trying to hey, that's somebody. Y'all got to give it back to PSR now. We trying to keep our money in. You got to get a percentage of that now. You somebody know what said we need a percentage of that. Somebody said Deacon Labaka's on the clearance rack. Who are you? No, no, no. Deacon, put it in your box, Deacon. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm speaking loud, but they got you in the front of the store. The friend in the store. You know what I'm talking about, man. Big up, big up, big up. You know when it's going out of business? Yeah. Oh, they're going out of business. Damn. You're the thing that's going out of business. I mean, I already wrote it. Liquidation. You're the liquidation scene. You're the liquidation. The sneakers, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Liquidation. The sneakers are out of business. The sneakers are out of business. Grand opening, grand closing. We got lava. We got lava. We're crazy. Yo, 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 respect the hammer, man. Respect the hammer. Israel. Buy one get one free. Oh, crazy Eddie! Oh, 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 crazy, crazy Eddie! V I M. Yeah, you got to be crazy. You get one the way it is priced. But but you know but you, it's insane. But you, but you know when the items be irregular, one leg pant leg be longer than the other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I had a pair of ones. Yeah, hey, listen, man. Calculus, calculus. If no sister pick me, I'm gonna be like this. No, you're not. Hey, pay the song, man. If anybody ain't pick me, I'm on. Somebody right gonna pick you. you know what I'm Somebody I'm gonna pick you. You got power, D. You can go to the inbox right now, D. They want that power, man. They want that power, right? Yep. Oh, you tell me what spirit you said you had last night. I'll say it again. You tell me the spirit that you said you had last night. What's that spirit? You, you remember that spirit we had? We talked about it. Did you no, say say, you say, 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 You said you was trying to oh, be like Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more than I call, man. You said? I'm more than I call, man. <laughs> hey, Cap, we got a time, bro. All right, well, praise brothers and sisters. That's our show for today. Please remember, we do have a school here in Riverdale, Georgia, 691 Highway 130 in Riverdale. Come down, come learn, come get with these prophets, come get with these sisters. We got online classes three times a day for absolutely free at IUIC Classrooms on Facebook and Israel United Christ on Periscope. Arms, if you want to give arms, okay, to keep this thing moving, you can do so via PayPal. You can do so via PayPal at IUIC.Atlanta. I'm 26. At, I'm 26. De- huh? I'm 26. Somebody asked how old you are. So what am I? Oh, Deacon Lava said he's 26 years old. Okay? In the spirit, he's 26 years old, right? Right, Deacon? Hey, 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 hey. You got to be spiritual here. 48, 48, 48. It's 48. All right, so. Somebody so get, said you're $5 and below. Wow. Yeah, wow. five wow. below. Oh, damn. damn. So they take you, they, they lose they money. From the, yeah, they're losing damn. money. Uh, if you want to give to the PayPal, you can do so via. If you want to give, um, you can do so via PayPal at iuic.atlanta at israelunite.org for the booster club iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. We want to thank Officer Elisha, Officer Zedinai, Officer Nichomai, Officer Dino, Officer Kenenaya, Officer Zakur, uh, Soldier Mahalaleo, Soldier Matthias, Soldier Nehemiah. We want to thank all your brothers for make this possible behind the scene. Those are the brothers you cannot see. Uh, we want to thank our guests, our sister, lovely Carmen. sister, Carmen. 
Lonely, so lonely. Carmen, lonely sister Israel. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, uh, nice. Bishop, thank you. Oh, praise. We're going to thank Deacon uh, Yausab, Deacon Malakaya, Deacon uh, Laba, Captain Zephaniah, Captain uh, uh, Sewaya for coming through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot do it without you guys. The sister. Uh, which sister? The sister lonely. One that is late. I want to be. One that is too delicious. Hey, hey, hey. I want to make an announcement. I want to make an announcement. Thank you. Oh, from now on. So, what were you joking about? Because somebody said that I was mean about the hamburger remark. So oh, the hamburger. I love the hamburger. No, I've been messing with joking. him. He, he, I like he, I hamburgers. Joking. Yeah, that, 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 that. Yo, Wait. you got to get used to me by now. Hey, hey, hey. 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 I'm going to stop telling people online my business. And, 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 and yeah. Bishop, how do you think I maintain this figure? Yeah, you got to say it. 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 You got to I love you, sister. Before I love we you. go, I want to introduce. I want to introduce two new people to patient set with you from now on. My two lovely sisters, oh, right love there. Me. Yes. Oh wow! Oh, you made it! You made it, sister! You made it! Okay, okay. You made it. So we are gonna have from now on. They gotta be on time, though. Yes, they gotta yeah. be on time. And I do apologize. I ran into an accident because I'm coming. I was coming out of Kawada County. We don't want to hear. Next time you fire. fire. You should have called okay. your chariot to to okay. come get you. So, yes, sir. so you, you wasn't in the accident. You so just there's no, 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 okay. no, we were stopped. On there's Twitter. a reason we're gonna bring these two sisters to the patient set because we have a lot of. Uh, what you call it? Back. Uh, what you call it? Backlash. Backlash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we talk about subject. That they say, oh, we are uh, misogynists. We misogynists. We women stickiness. bashers. With this, we want to bring these two sisters because we know we think that they have a good. They got good point of view to bring in to whatever we talk about. Uh, so we don't come across as just a male point yes, of view. I don't want you guys to take this a male point of view. So I pick up these two sisters so they can feed on each other. But don't get don't get me on. They're still gonna have their own show. They, their show's gonna be five sisters. They're gonna stay on show. But. I want these two to be a regular at our patients at Wigman from now on. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, man, I like the sisters. I like Ticklicious. She's very confident, you know what yeah, I mean? Right, she, right, you right. know what I mean? Cool you know, she, you know I, like, I like that, you know? For yeah. real. You don't like Iona? <laughs> but I know she Iona. You right. That's about it. We know sister I, I, you know, you know, I, I, I know her, you know. Big up part of us. All right, uh, look, look at we good? Anything else? Nah, that's it. That's and it. And Bishop Dickens, we good? We good. Yeah, we Israel, good. with that, we say Shalom. 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 We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.